These, these paintings are all works I, I like from the collection. So I was trying to find a, a structure to, to order my selection, and I've um, organised the exhibition in a colour spectrum. So it's from um, all the colours of the rainbow plus black and white. So you walk around the room and the colour shifts with the works. And then I called it Richard of York gave battle in vain because that's the way I was taught as a child to remember the, the colours of the rainbow. Um, and, you know, Richard of York's son is Richard III, who have a, who have a painting of in the show, and he died in the Battle of Bosworth. So he's <laughs> um, and that's hanging above Grayson Perry's print for a politician, which looks like a big battle scene. So there's lots of little funny cross-references and, and sort of... Uh, you know, playful juxtapositions going on. All this work, what I did like about the work, it's all been in these very auspicious places, you know, um, and had an ambassadorial role, you know, like a diplomatic role. But it's been listening in to all these co political conversations for the last, you know, how many years. Some of it, you know, some of these works are, date back to the 1500s, I and mean, they haven't been in the collection for that long, but somehow they must have heard a lot of stuff. <laughs> so now they're back in a sort of art situation and that they're almost chattering amongst themselves. Merging from orange to, to yellow is uh, Bruise by Ed Rocher, which is a rare um, non-British artist uh, print, which is um, you know, done in, looks like the, the froth off a beer glass, <laughs> which I juxtapose with um, a piece called Broken English by Annie Galacho, I think she's in the late 90s, I think about 97, which has um, photomy booth images of a lot of the art world at the time, all dissolving in solvent. <laughs> and up there is the, uh, uh, the fab for the Beatles done in diamond dust by Peter Blake, uh, which is quite nice with the four girls, Gillian wearing girls. <laughs> I found mates for them. So here we are in the, the green, green corner, going into the blue behind me. I love this piece. <laughs> This is another part of those series of book covers by Kitai. Um, I think it's 60s or 70s, that series. Um, this one says China, China Today, The Yellow Peril, which shows the, the attitudes of the time, but, but also it's, it's a green image with, re referring to yellow. <laughs> um, below is Adam Dance, Come on England, <laughs> a rather pathetic plea. <laughs> Next to another book cover by Kitai, Defense of Terrorism by Trotsky, which is going from green into blue. We're in the blue corner over here, um, and so is a selection of works here. This is wonderful. It's one of my favorite works in the whole show, which is called Blue Tangle um, by Kenneth Martin. And it's got a great history. It's been all over the world. And in the show, there's a, a potted history, of, a display history of this particular work. Andy Warhol's The Queen. Um, the Heroine Room by M Mike Nelson. I quite like a little bit of a more sinister undertow going on here. Uh, although the, it's predominantly the colour spectrum in this show, there is black and white, because I did think there was a sort of pragmatic element with the black and white, so uh, it allowed me to show a bit of the darker side of things. Um, so we have a half-built mausoleum up there by Rachel Whiteweed, um, uh, Mary Queen of Scots, who lost her head, staring across the room at uh, Elizabeth I, who beheaded her. <laughs> There's a feather from Freud's pillow, which is a photogram, which is one of my works. Um, next door to an early Martin Parr. When you think of Martin Parr, you usually think of colour photography, but he, this is an early black and white of a man on a, on a, uh, on a ladder in a doorway. It's, it's almost like a, a sense of the end of the world going on in this corner. <laughs>